Hi guys, today I have a subscriber requested tutorial for you. We're going to make some miniature books that are 1 to 12 scale, which is the standard dollhouse size. I'll show you a few options for book covers and book pages. Which option you choose will just depend on the kind of look you're going for and whether or not you have access to a printer. So let's get started with the printer option. I just look up some book covers on Google Images and copy that into a Word document. Just be mindful that if you're going to sell your finished product, there are copyright restrictions with many images. I'm copying the image here and paste special as a picture into the Word doc. Then I keep my finger on the shift key and shrink that image down to 3 fourth of an inch in length to half an inch in width. Then I just print that out. I print most things in black and white and add some color later on, but you can also print directly in color. You can also use this same technique to print out some book pages. I'll also be showing you how to create books with blank pages, which is a lot easier. The first thing I do is cut out the book cover I'm using. Here I'm just adding some red to this Gone Girl book cover. And here I am adding some light green to the second book cover. It's for the light between oceans. I'm actually reading this book right now and it's amazing so far. I can't wait to watch the movie. If you choose to print out your book pages, you just need to cut out all the individual pages. To speed it up, I just like to clamp several sheets together and then cut them out. I noticed here that my stack was thick enough for two books, so I just divided that up into two sections and clamped them with binder clips. Then you just need to add some glue to one edge of the stack. This will hold the stack together. Add some glue to the spine of the book cover, spread it out, and then add your stack of pages. Then to make the covers glossy, I just add some glossy Mod Podge. For blank book pages, you just need to cut out some 3 4 inch strips of basic printer paper. I'm using 3 strips for one book. I stack them together and fold the stack in half 3 times. Just to keep it together, I clamp it with a binder clip. Then I mark a straight line with a ruler and cut on that line with an X-Acto knife. This will create a super clean edge and make your final product look really good. So try not to rush this step. Once that's done, I just add some glue to hold the stack together and wait for it to dry. When you're spreading the glue out, you want to ensure that you get all the pages so none of them fall out later. Then I just measure the width by comparing it to the book cover I'm using. Draw a straight line and cut off the excess. As you can see, the glue is holding all the pages together perfectly. Then just like before, I glue that stack to the center of a book cover. and add some glossy Mod Podge. Make sure you gloss the back cover too. Here's Twilight, which I've never read but people seem to love. Another option for a book cover is just using some contact paper. I just peel off the backing and put my finished stack of pages on the sticky side. Then trim off the excess contact paper and fold over the edges for a nice clean look. I'm adding on a tiny gray label with more contact paper. And titling the book Ideas. 
That's it guys, super easy to make and the final product is super tiny and adorable. Let me know if you guys would create this, I would love to see what you make. Oh and let me know in the comments below what else you want to see in the future. Bye!